phosphoketolase pathway is a major route of glucose catabolism in heterolactic or heterofermentative lactic acid producing bacteria, including species of Lycanostoc, Lactobacillus, Streptococcus, Lactococcus, Pediococcus, Macrobacterium, Bacillus, Acetobacter, and the mold Rhizopus. Recall that in homolactic fermentation, one molecule of glucose is ultimately converted to two molecules of lactic acids. Heterolactic fermentation in constants yields carbon dioxide and ethanol in addition to lactic acid. The pathway is present in some species of microalgae, cyanobacteria, and fungi. The key enzymes are phosphocatalases that split fructose 6-phosphate or xylulose 5-phosphate. Phosphocatalases are thiamine-dependent enzymes. The reactions also require inorganic phosphate. Fructose 6-phosphate is cleaved into erythrose for phosphate and acetyl phosphate. Cellulose 5 phosphate is converted to glycerol degas 3 phosphate and acetyl phosphate. In some cases, phosphocatalase pathway can be considered as an offshoot of pentosophosphate pathway that but pass its non oxidative branch. And it produces glycerol degas 3 phosphate and acetyl phosphate from cellulose 5 phosphate. Acetyl phosphate, formed in the reaction brought about by pentose phosphocatalase, serves as an easily assimilated energy source. It can be used to produce ATP and acetate in the reaction catalyzed by acetate kinase. Alternatively, it can be converted into acetyl kinase A by phosphotransacetylase. Acetyl kinase A can be reduced to ethanol, regenerating NAD, or used as a precursor for many organic molecules. Some heterolactic bacteria may convert glucose and other sugars into fructose 6 phosphate, which is split into erythrose 4 phosphate and acetyl phosphate by hexose phosphocatalase. Erythrose 4 phosphate can be recycled in the transaldolase and transcatalase reactions of pentose phosphate pathway to form xylulose 5 phosphate. The last one is then split by pentose phosphocatalase. In some species, pentose and gexose phosphocatalases are the same enzymatic proteins. The final products are commonly lactate, acetate, and ATP. Here comes the advantage of the sugar metabolism pathway. In this pathway, acetyl enzyme A is produced without the carboxylation reactions, which are accompanied by the loss of one carbon atom in the form of carbon dioxide. For example, when pyruvate, the end product of the emden mergov parnas pathway, is decarboxylated by pyruvate dehydrogenase complex, one carbon atom is lost. This commonly occurs under aerobic conditions. Under anaerobic hypoxic conditions, pyruvate can be decarboxylated to acetaldehyde and then converted to ethanol. However, we have a loss of carbon atom either. Phosphocatalase pathway helps to avoid these decarboxylation steps. Thus, more acetyl enzyme A can be obtained even under conditions when oxygen is limited. Worth noting that many species of heterolactic bacteria exist under such conditions. Acetyl enzyme A is a precursor for many molecules, including ethanol, bothanol, acetone, fatty acids, the ethers, and many, many others. Progress in metabolic engineering and synthetic biology has enabled a rapid expansion of industrial microbiology, wherein cellular metabolism is revived to target production of tailored molecules. This has facilitated the design of microbial biocatalysts capable of converting renewable feedstocks, including non-food biomass, agricultural and municipal waste, and atmospheric methane and carbon dioxide into an array of petroleum replacement products, which mitigates greenhouse gas emissions associated with petroleum-based products. Optimization of these pathways can maximize the theoretical acetyl enzyme A yield thereby minimizing the overall cost of subsequent acetyl enzyme A derived molecules. Thank you for your attention.